not to slow the train down considerably. As you look to the left and to the right of the train, you see a row of pedestrian trees. As you look under those, you see a paved bicycle trail. That used to be the Pennsylvania River right where they ran from. See, there's your farming camp, Greg Old Jamesburg, and all that, the Mollus Junction. At one time, that was fairly popular around for people coming from the western part of the state, headed to the north through the coast resorts, and there's Great Park Ocean Park and Bob Grant. We had a scheduled train on that line. It was a one-car dual road, which would start in Red Bank every morning, come down to Seager, go on out to Palma Junction, and then down to the train in the morning. Uh -huh. And in the afternoon, we'd run that route in reverse. It was primarily used by parochial school students headed to parochial high school in the Trenton area. When that train was discontinued, it was uh, very shortly after that we were applied for and acquired permission to uh, clear up the track from Seagull to Farmingville since there was no freight traffic on that section. In 1939, when the King of England visited, uh, Washington, D.C., and went to Hyde Park with the uh, president for Vertigo. They came up the Pennsylvania Railroad to uh, uh, Monmouth Junction, then came across through here, down to Seager, and then up the coastline, up to Red Bank, where you've probably seen some of the photos of the big crowd waiting for Greek of King at Red Bank. Then on up the highlands, and then go to the naval vessel up to uh, uh, the Rockefeller and Roosevelt Estates. You can now ride your bicycle from the park here all the way down to Seager on that line. About a six and a half mile ride. Now as we come around the bend and into the woods, if you look up to the left of the train, you'll see a siding. That's our rip train siding. That's where we load stone, coal, uh, stone, ties, and rail when we're doing track work. Down at the end of the track, you'll see the other Navy flat on the train. And you'll also see the large red building, which is our main car barn. That's where we store most of our equipment. Uh, with five tracks of the cover, each of them about 160 feet long. But even with that, you don't have enough cover storage for everything. You still have to leave the TV. Okay, this is the uh, flat car frame. This is the way we got it. We converted that into what you're riding in right now. Just ahead of the car barn, the first car you see is a five liter oil tank car. That was uh, built in 1926 standard gate used for, for flying in the gasoline. In the late 60s, we sold down to uh, the river down to the Bayhead and used to refuel diesel engines in Bayhead. One of three that were down there. Next in line is the green passenger car with a baggage board. That car is the black leather motor over by the fence. <coughs> and the white passenger car are all movie stars. They appear in the movie The Molly McGuire's with Sean Connery and Richard Harris back in 1970. At that time, they were over at Carroll Park in Western. And then finally, there's the black East Rail Top Hopper Car. East Rail Top was the American Railroad in Pennsylvania. When the railroad shut down in 55, it was sold for scrap. But instead of scrapping it to the Walter County, 